Well, the market off of session lows. Investors are digesting that economic data from the morning, and they're also looking to head to tech earnings after the bell. Let's bring in Walzer Wealth Management President Rebecca Walzer. And I want to start with GDP this morning, Rebecca. Rough number, as expected, but and a record breaker. But now the question is, what happens in the third quarter? Yeah, Cheryl. Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you now. Sorry okay. for now. GDP. Yeah, I mean, awful news. You know, nothing since we've seen since the Great Depression. And it's, um, it's it shows that what happens when you shut down voluntarily, when you have a bull market and you close and 42 million people go on unemployment. So it's it's really reflective of what, what we expected. And it just all the more points to the fact that we need to get back to work as fast as possible, Cheryl. When do you think the economy will start to recover? What about Q3? It's not going to start to recover, Cheryl, until we actually get people back to work and businesses back open. And I know everyone's counting on the uh, a vaccine as the as plan A, but I think we need a plan B because, uh, you know, if a vaccine doesn't materialize for another eight months, year, um, we don't know exactly when a successful vaccine will be tried and tested and actually implemented. So we have to have a plan B. We can't start partially opening and start to see great economic numbers like we started to see at the end of May and June and then keep closing back down and start to see bad numbers and the slowing of the recovery again. We really need a plan B, Cheryl, to get back to normalcy as fast as possible in the absence of a vaccine. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you 100 percent, Rebecca. And last question, you know, the initial claims coming in today. But I thought the continuing claims was actually the real story there because that actually came in higher than expected and we're gaining, we're going in the wrong direction with continuing claims claims. Your reaction? There's no doubt we're absolutely going in the wrong direction. I can't agree with you more. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how the tech stocks hold up today on today's earning news, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google. I expect that uh, Facebook will have the hardest hit uh, because of ad revenues declining because of businesses pulling back um, because of the virus. So uh, tech has pulled us up 35 percent year to date. Those stocks have made, Cheryl, they're 20 percent of the S&P 500. We can't rely on them to bring us indefinitely through this storm. We have to get yeah. us back to work. We've got to get back, open back up. I'm, to your point, I'm curious. What Mark Zuckerberg says on the call about getting advertisers back on the platform because of all the companies that have paused because of their handling of misinformation and, and you know, frankly, meddling. Uh, Rebecca, thank you very much for your time. It's good to see you as always. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. well,